Welcome back to Operation Demon Fist. We're heading into the slums district known as Stink Hill in Chicago with a small, uh, more covert kind of team, at least in my opinion, trying to smash and grab uh, an item from an advent facility and evac out before it's too late. Uh, let's get in there and see if we can accomplish that. Menace 1 5. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Using our line of sight preview, it looks like it'll be possible to get eyes on this objective from outside the building, which is good. So we're going to need to basically take this building as a base of fire quickly. We've only got eight turns to grab that. Scourge is going to revive in five turns, so we'll have quite a hold. This is quite a nice building to hold as well. And I would imagine runs uh, along quite a way. But we want to stay pretty together, I think, in this case. Despite how good that building is, it won't cover us while we try to get the objective. So we want to push into and through this building. Take up covered positions. Move up with Kilroy into the street to grab the objective. Uh, and then just go from there. It's going to depend heavily on what the enemy contact is like. So we have to see that first. Let's try to push up to this uh, building quickly. Order's confirmed. On the move. Pray for no civilians, as always. Why don't we move you... Uh, you can't quite make it onto the roof in time, but... Let's... Uh, where do we want to put you? I'm worried about someone coming around that left side, you know? Have we got another ladder over there? We got another ladder over there. Let's go for a run. Okay. See if there's anyone around that blind corner on the left there. Got some civvies. But otherwise, looks pretty clear. So we can push Kyori up to here, hopefully. Heading to that location. Peek inside this window and we're looking good. So the rest of us can uh, bumble on up. No skates. Ocelots. Time to motor. And Ramirez. I don't know why I can't move there, but that is weird. Rolling out. Door open on the right. Sounds like snake. If I had to guess. Definitely sounds like a snake. We need to keep pushing up and through. Uh, quick as you like, basically. I'm gonna put Kyori up here. Moving to position. Hopefully we won't have any contact close, didn't sound like it. Drone on the right, watch out. Without the introduction of human DNA. These creatures, once operating under the guise of thin men, now show their true form. A purely reptilian You didn't see me, did you? Species. You no didn't see me. For them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. But you will soon if I'm not careful. So I want to hop down here, keep pushing up on that objective, uh, while the rest of my team pushes up to get ready to engage these enemies. We're going to need that shotgun on Bower on the right here to handle that drone. Uh, and we want some good suppressive fire from Ocelot, which can be downstairs, that'd be fine. See, if I moved around the right, that would have been an instant giveaway, wouldn't have been a good time at all. Probably move up to there and suppress from ground floor Ocelot, so I can probably bring you around the right side, as I do. Come on, don't be scared. Heading to that location. Gotta get around that giant thing there, I see. So go ahead and put yourself right there. I mean, is that drone part of the pod? What's that drone doing? Um, Bower would be best off inside, but we can't have everything. Put Bower here. On glow skates. What we really want is Doom Guy in a great position like that. Let's see if we can run Doom Guy up to here. No need to ask twice. And then we may as well get Ramirez over here. Moving out. And Kyori needs to come away from that drone before he gets uh, bamboozled. From before, we didn't see anyone in here, so I think we should be able to just hop down. Orders confirmed. Moving out. I hear turrets up ahead, which isn't good. Hop down, and there you go. So we'll Overwatch just in case it comes towards us, I suppose. We don't have a lot of turns. We gotta move forward, forward, forward. Looks like that drone is on its own, so we can hopefully whack that by itself. 
Ooh, hang on. Two drones. We definitely want to deal with this. Definitely want to deal with these guys on their own. These guys are annoying to deal with. I might go so far as to waste these guys now. I think. And, uh, deal with those vipers and crap later. So let's see, Kyori, what's your position to get an eye on this objective? There. What about around here? Anywhere? No. Oh, 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 oh! See, this is important. This is the difference between a successful mission and a lost mission, is seeing how far away we can get this objective. It looks like we need to push up to that uh, corner cover there. Oh no, there you go, that's good. No, wait, no, almost. Okay, so it looks like we need to push up to that corner cover right there. I wish we didn't. So we've got to basically clear up to here. So what we want to do, ideally if this damn drone wasn't here, we just sneak up. But because we can't do that, we're going to waste these drones, then try to provide a strong base of fire uh, from this building towards that viper pod. Hope there's no pod on the left, basically, as we push up. Uh, and smoke and all that jazz to make that tenable for us. So, Doom Guy can sawn off one and Glitch can shotgun the other. Let's get uh, Shalashka moving up to try and handle these guys. I'm gonna put you on the side, Shalashka. Okay, I got a 58 on you. Who do I want to start with here? You got a plus to crit from... There's no advantage from attacking from Overwatch here, really. I just need someone to start this off. I don't really care who. Probably if I bring... Ramirez up. And just... Maybe even just activate with her. Uh, might be the best case. Maybe even throw a grenade of her. Oh, I can't quite get a grenade of her. That's good. Well, I'll bring it to the side. On target position now. And I might just start it off with Ramirez. Nice work, really good. It hit the plate. We're, visible here. We're gonna be revealed. We're gonna do our best to deal with these drones. Yep, they're moving in alright. That's what they do. That's what them drones do. Now, I could take a sawn off, or I could go for a double kill here with friendly, which could free other people up for other stuff. I've also got walk fire, which will only do 2-3 to three damage, but, uh, well, if we went for the armor, that'd be all we needed. So probably what I want to do is bring Bower down here to kill this one. Why don't you hop down, Bower? Legen wir endlich los. We want to take a shotgun on this one on the right. See if we can handle this one first. Not great. Don't lie. Let's see if Shalashka can deal with it. That's what we need. Handled. Well, how about that? Now we just want to finish this guy off, and then move up, essentially. I don't want to move up to here just yet, I'm going to take my time. Oh, I can even hack, I can even, could even have tried to haywire it, but screw it. Um, yes, screw it, it's good to haywire, I should have done that first. I was going to kill wire you instead, fuck you drone. Check it before you get too close, hey, take a look at this. Okay, we want to make sure Doom Guy is in position to slay the Viper team when it so? comes back. Got it covered. Now, next time we can start moving up, and perfect, they're going to walk into us. Hopefully, not going to do too many nasty actions from being yellow alert, but we'll see. We're in heavy cover mostly, so hopefully, it won't be too bad. There's some nice damage on the Viper. Good, nothing, 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 nothing. Great. Okay. Now we can pop a grenade onto the Viper to hopefully kill it, but we've also got Sapper, I gotta remember. We've got that beautiful, beautiful Sapper, which is just what we need, which can make us blow up that, uh, that a Rocketeer? What is that? That Engineer is all it's called. That Engineer's spot instead. What do we want to do with you, Ocelot? We've got Area Suppression, which isn't going to suppress much from that position. We've also, of course, got Friendly himself, uh, although, oh, damn, he can't see anything from there, so we need to move him up anyway. I can see targets from there. I can see distant targets from there. Probably better to push up anyway. And we have Ramirez as well, ready to push up. 
If I push Ramirez to here, and I sap grenade... Okay. Push Ramirez to here, I can get a shot on. I'm not sure if it would be a worthwhile one, but if I sap grenade and it doesn't kill, I can finish off with Ramirez. So where is our beautiful boy Glitch? We're going to reload and pop a sapper onto there, I think. Yep, I agree. Okay, let's just get deal with this Viper straight up. I don't like Vipers, so take him out, Bower. And it's good. And that snake is handled. That is what we like. And that cover got destroyed for future reference. That cover got destroyed hard. Now that also opens up our ability to suppress. We haven't got an area suppression target, sadly. But we can just do a standard suppress on, for example, the engineer or one of the troopers. There's some good flanks there to take, actually, too. Can we get uh, you in a position where you can take advantage of that? Not quite. So what I'm going to do instead is just move you up. I guess that'll be okay. Friendly, we're going to move in. If we can get a nice little flashbang from Kilroy and a couple of people here, I think that would be for the best. Why don't we move you up to here? I guess Hopefully okay. no new pods, we just want to get closer to the objective at the same time. Hello, turret! I don't like you. That's Stay bad. Clear of those turrets. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. Let's have a look at our haywire chances here. Because this could be really good if we could pass it. Or really bad if we fail. Well, I could temporarily disable it on a 91. But it's a 52 to take control of it. I don't trust those odds at all. So back me out of that, please. I don't think I'll be taking that. I really need someone to get a flashbang on, though. It's not going to be you, uh, Ramirez. Could it be you, Friendly? Yes, Friendly is our man. So I flashbang those two. I suppress the other guy, hopefully. Yes, and we've got them all locked down, which is just what we want. So we suppress you. Get lay that PKM fire down. I love it. Get a flashbang over here on these two. And lock them down. Let's uh, go ahead and bring Ramirez up. Ready to engage next turn. And you know what I think I'll do? I think I'll take a hunker down. In position. Against that turret and all that other crap. Can't get that loot up there, stupid drone. Right, so we've got them all locked down. Let's see what they try to do. Increase that volume of fire, PKF. That's it! That's what I'm talking about, Ocelot. He heard me loud and clear. Okay. They're still just screwing around. We've got a turret. Holy crap, the turret has squad sight. No. The turret has squad sight. Okay. Ocelot. Lucky to be alive right now. Turret has squad sight. Good to know. I will keep that in mind for future encounters with these horrible creatures. Um, we might want to go for that stun after all now, then. And then we can just go ahead and move up. Well, we have to kill the turret as the thing, regardless. If you move up to here... Well, no, it's got squad side beagles, so it'll see you coming. So you, you have to disable it to really accomplish anything here. What are we going to do? Why don't we just go for a reload haywire? And Ready to pray run. it hits, because we're in trouble if it doesn't. We could use one of these. And we need to push up and deal with that turret quickly. I like that. Well, turret having squad sight is very makes a lot of sense. Makes him an actual threat. Please don't fail. God God bless. Right, I could have gone for the temporary control, but we didn't know that of course. Now how long is that stun for? We're through. Shut down two. One turn. So we've got one turn basically, to kill these guys, and then the turn after that, we need to start cleaning up uh, everyone else. Now, I think I can take up both the covered positions on these boys, if I push up here. It's a nice little sappy sap. I hear more contact on my right. I hear it. Can we potentially just kill these guys? Maybe. I mean, we can just grenade them normally with uh, Ana Ramirez and save those good grenades for later. Moving to position. Push up there, Ramirez, and get yourself a little grenade on this guy. Grenade! Not bad. 
We're gonna take a walk fire, I think, on that guy. For 75. Slaying him of our G3. Nicely done. I got it, right? We might need this. Let's go for this 53. Not bad. Uh, I think we can give ourselves a heal without ending our turn. Gonna be fine. Then suppress that vomit. Try to grab him when he runs. Give him a suppression. And let's lock him down. You're gonna have to increase your rate of fire if you want to kill him when he runs, Ocelot. Don't be playing no games with this guy. Damn. Uh, he's running away to his buddies, I'd say. Now that turret's gonna be unstunned, I think, this coming turn, so we need to get some fire on there. Uh, I cannot deal with that guy unless I give him a long-range grenade, I think. But I can indeed give him a long-range grenade. So I'm gonna do just that, take a reload. Oh! Give him a big old boom, Bauer. Give it to him. The way Exalt intended. Smashing him, I like it. Okay, we gotta stay away from that right side. We gotta be a little bit careful. But now it's time to try and deal with this, uh... This turret before it gets too ballsy. Let's take some shots. Not bad damage. We're off the armor. Weapons burning ammo fast! But it could be much better. Let's move you up as well. I'm trusting you here. Ah, crap. What the hell? That's really bad. That turret's gonna keep squad sighting me. No! That's terrible. I'm about to get double squad sighted up in here. Well, you're gonna move up, friendly. I'm trusting you here. Yeah, that's not good, man. That's not good at all. I think you're gonna have to take a reload us a lot. Maybe if you move to... I mean, you're in view now. You, ha you have to hunker or you're dead meat. You're mince meat. And we're not gonna have enough damage to kill this damn thing. God. That's really bad. We're about to get hosed by turret fire because there's two goddamn turrets here. Can I get a smoke down? I can get a smoke down on you three. But... Well, no, no, because it's squad sight and they haven't got sight on the rest of us. So actually... I just need to smoke these three and we're good. If I smoke you three... Oh god. Where is that smoke gonna go? What are you visible to? You're visible, but you can... You can potentially hide yourself. So we need it to be on you. And if it's on you as well, that's a bonus. Let's throw a smoke out here. Right there. Cover, going out. We need it on these two. On Ramirez. Okay, it's not on friendly, so I think what I'm gonna do is hunker him. Standing fast. If I move up to here, no problem, boss. I should not be in sight of the turret, so I can take a reload. Saving grace there. Let's do this. We're gonna hunker down for that incoming fire, because we're about to get a lot of it. Right up our clacker. Oh god, what's coming? No more pods, please. God, what is that on the right? More fire. troopers. How the hell am I gonna get this Taking objective? I mean, I'm flanked there. If I, no way. No, he hasn't got line of sight on me from there. I think. So I think if I move to there, I can grab the objective, which is obviously very important right now. Alternatively, if we kill this turret right now. That's another way we can get the objective. Because if we kill this turret, it no longer has eyes on us. Bob's your uncle. It's not providing sight to its buddy on the side there. And then that allows us to push up. We're gonna have to give it a reload, Ramirez. And probably attack it. Oh my god, Ramirez, come on! Walk fire isn't gonna be enough. 
We have to take a light him up. Ah! Not even close. Not even close. Well, I've got one more turn to move up and take that next turn, so that's just gonna have have to be how it is. I'm just gonna have to take a shot at them this turn to finish this, try and finish this turret off, and then move in and grab that objective from this position next turn. That's all I can do here safely. Right, so that turret's down. I got it right. Wait, Beagle, you idiot. Curie can. Oh, you had to. You had to aid protocol Curie before you did that. Beagle, you clown. What are you doing? That's not good. But he's still in smoke, so that's... Maybe not so bad. He's still in smoke. Right, next turn we have to take that objective, so Curie has to stay alive. We're alive. Right, we've got to move in and grab that objective now. Oh, I should have called in my evac. What am I doing? I should have called in my evac ages ago. Well, we just got to push up now. What's over I feel like there? we're going to activate that extra pod, but we have to get that objective. Oh god, why? This is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Advent forces on the ground. Why god, why? Please don't flank me. That's all I'm asking. That's all I ask of you. All the drones going to Okay, they're all going to flank me. They don't care. Screw you guys. Well, the drone's got a flank of me, but actually the others can't. So that's all right. And he can't be shot by that that turret. So it's all good. We've got to hack the objective. We just have to do it. System infiltration in progress. Kore has to go hard. And then maybe we can get a, a sapper grenade to kill those two in the front and we'll be okay. Now let's get that small cache of alloys. Oh, you know, let's not. But we've got that objective now. Which is all important. We're in. So bully for us. Now the key here is getting Bauer in position to throw some grenades and maybe even getting the key maybe even being uh, getting Ramirez in position to throw some flashbangs, I think. Where can Bauer move up to and throw a grenade? Not where I want him, that's for sure. Maybe I should have brought that SMG after all. No, he was important in getting that uh that uh drone before though. I really need to lay down suppressive fire on a lot of targets here. I'm gonna have to push you up. I can handle that. I think I got some fire there. I'm gonna push you up as well, Bauer. We just gotta do the best we can. What can we reach with your grenade? Not a lot. We need to save that grenade for next turn, unfortunately. Drone on the left's gonna hit Kilroy in the in the bad place. But hopefully, if we push Ramirez up as well, heading out, we can get a good flashbang onto at least two of them. I'd like to get that third guy, but I don't think I'm going to. Nope. So we can flashbang two. We can flashbang these two and then suppress the turret, and that's probably a nice combo. If we flashbang you two, take a good look. Pin you guys down with flashbang. Now remember, we don't need to kill these guys, we've got the objective. Killer just has to survive this turn, and then we can get the hell out. So if we just pin that turret down so no one else gets hit, and then get ourselves out next turn, hopefully. Uh, the problem is that drone's gonna come in, and it's gonna try to disable Kilroy. But we gotta suppress this. Suppress that turret. Keep it hell pinned down. You have to shoot faster than that if you wanna live, uh, Ocelot. I can bring friendly to the side, and I can try and start shooting the drone. What's over there? Is really all I can think to do in this situation. Take a shot. Good start. Still holding. And then Bauer, you really just need to get the Sky Ranger coming. Uh, I'd say if we can just get it right here, we can probably hold here for five turns, no problem. Uh, or alternatively, up on the roof. I think here's pretty easy to hold. I think we can hold here. I think this is uh, doable right here. So we'll chuck it right there. And I should have called this in ages ago, it's my mistake. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. And you got 0%. We're just gonna push you up. See if we do the grenade next turn. 
Okay, so let's just see what's gonna happen to Kilroy right here is the big thing. We're covering him with flashbangs and suppression as best as we can, but that drone's gonna get a nice disable on him. I think. He's only disoriented. That's workable. That guy should be able to see him. Flashbang into a corner. Good for you. Flashbang into a corner. Good for you. And that turret is too suppressed to do anything. Now, we've got reinforcements coming in. That's a big deal. But hopefully we can finish this drone off. Maybe with Bower. And we need to start pulling back. That guy's overwatching us, which is a problem. But we need to pull the hell back from this situation. Uh, by any means necessary, really. Looks like if I pull straight back, that guy actually can't see me. Who even can see me? So that guy can only see... Well, it says he can see everyone, but that's apparently a lie, so I don't know. Who's telling the truth? So I think if I move one to the right, he won't get his overwatch shot on me. And then I can run away, basically. And then the rest of us should be able to break... I mean, he shouldn't be able to see me from where he is, apparently. But the rest of us should be able to break cover at that point. So we're going to move one to the right. And then... Oh, that makes things hard, doesn't it? What if I pull Bower back? Can you do better then? Uh, meanwhile, we kind of need to bring Glitch over on the side. To try and blow up this drone. 59's not great, but that's all we got! Thank you! Okay, Kyori can only make it back to here if he runs directly back. I have to assume that it's telling the truth when it says that person cannot see him there. Uh, but if it's lying, well, we're in for a world of hurt. I'll tell you that much. Let's see. Got it. Okay, it wasn't lying and we pulled right back. We need to get way back. That, that uh, turret's going to try and light us up is a problem. We need more smoke, but this is the best we can really do right now. I'm going to have to pull you back to here, I think. Ramirez. Moving to position. And then Shalashka. Seems doable. Back to this position. We're gonna reload on Doom Guy and go for an Overwatch. We're green to go. We've got reinforcements coming in, don't forget. Overwatch. Come get some. And probably another Overwatch. Overwatch. Now, if that turret gets eyes on the right people, we could see a death on this turn, but we've just gotta keep doing the best we can. This also is not ideal. Where are these guys dropping in? Hopefully not directly on my flank. I think they're in front? Dropping in front. That's better than it could be. But that's going to give the turret tons of vision on us, which is terrible. But we didn't really have a choice, unfortunately. Some good shooting before there. The turret's about to light us up. And Ramirez is taking fire. I just hope the heavy cover can keep us intact. Heavy fire in the zone. Thank god that officer's fucking around in the corner still. This engineer's coming out finally. Taking a shot. We're alive, we need to keep pulling back. Incoming fire! Turret! Okay, we're up, we're up. I'm alright! I should have called the evac back even further, I guess. But we're just gonna have to keep on holding. I think the turret. Did it overwatch? Is that going to work at squad side? Does it have a long watch? Many, many questions right now. How many of these guys can we kill in one one blop here? How many sh grenades do we have? Just Bower, I think. Just Bower. So let's... Uh, we can probably flank that guy. Probably flank that guy. Um, grenade the back guy. Walk fire on this guy. It's probably our best bet. And that takes out three of them, hopefully, if we do it right. I can I can try a knife fight this guy, but it leaves me in a sh shitty lack of cover, which I don't want. And there's that guy too, he exists. So we got a lot of things to do here, unfortunately. Alternatively. I can just go for, like, flashbanging as many of them as I can, but I feel like the kills are necessary here to make this work out. So I probably want to push up 
I've even got a, uh, just a flank shot on that, that guy then, but I can walk fire to make it almost guaranteed to kill that guy. It's gonna earn, uh, it's gonna earn friendly some more fire, unfortunately, from the turret, but heroes do what they must to protect their squad. So I think we've got to start with that, but then friendly's gonna get shot on Overwatch is the problem by that turret, so we actually don't want to move around too much, I just remembered, because then that's gonna be really bad. So can we just get a double grenade on them after all? Please. Just, I don't care, like, just get both of them. Come on. I know you can handle this, Heinrich Bauer. Oh god, it's literally a pixel off, I, I don't know if I can get both. Oh, wait, wait, I saw it, I saw it. Oh, you know what, screw it, I'll just blow up his cover, if that's how difficult you're gonna be. <laughs> if you're gonna be difficult like that, fine, I'll just blow the cover up. But we wanna hold our positions, because we don't want to get hilariously shot by that turret, is the big deal. So we'll take a reload. And we'll shoot. Shooty shoot, shoot pants. Over here. He's dead, and that guy's cover's gone. Now we can follow up. Have you got a haywire on that? Well, that changes everything, damn it, Kilroy. Say that first. You're going to give a haywire to, I think, Shalashka, who's then going to lay down some, hopefully, effective suppression. That changes everything. I should have checked that. I guess someone sees it now. Maybe no one could see it before. No one could see it before, I think. But now they can see it. Now we can haywire it. So specialists have that squad site haywire still. Who do we want to give the... Well, maybe to Kilroy himself so he doesn't get destroyed, actually. Maybe to Kilroy himself. He's pretty, he's pretty out in the open there. So let's give Kilroy an aid protocol. And then let's haywire again. I'll see what I can do. Pray for a win, pray for a success, because we really need it right now, and we do not need a turret that's more lethal, that's for sure. Oh, only 74, but we have to take it. Oh, killer, come on! That's the last thing we needed right now. Well, that's really bad. That's atrociously terribly bad, and we're in a lot of trouble because of that. We're in a lot of trouble because of that. Make no mistake. That's gonna have plus 10 to hit now. We gotta finish off this sentry. And just keep laying down as much fire as we can, basically, to hold the line. I gotta lay out a little flashbang. Not a lot of point to that, though, unless I can grab both these guys, which I can't. I think if I pull you back to here, the turret might not be able to see you. Or back to here, even. You can't suppress him there, it's a problem. I need somewhere where he's not going to be in view of the turret. And he is in view of the turret there, is the problem. Alien can an alarm going off again. And it's just too in view of that turret, all of these positions. The best I can do is just bet on heavy cover, but I... I don't have a lot of faith in heavy cover saving me right now, I'm afraid. Take that reload. Reloaded. It'd be nice if Doom Guy could do more over here, but he can't really do a whole lot. I'm gonna take a shot. Nice graze. Fairly registered. Okay, we got our area suppression, which is very close from being useful, but just isn't quite. I think Ramirez is going to have to kill this guy, and then I'm going to have to suppress this champion. So Ramirez, load it up. And take him down. Ready to rock. You're just going to have to tank that fire, Ramirez. Drop that sentry. Target eliminated. I'm going to have to pull a closer in suppression onto him. While staying in the line of fire, unfortunately. I'm going to have to take a reload on uh, Doom Guy. Let's see if we can hold on for one more turn. Just one more turn. Oh god, no. Friendly. Taking heavy fire, the turret's gonna follow up on that for sure. 
Or this guy even. Oh god. Friendly! Jesus! Oh god, the turret's hitting Ramirez. We're all taking too much fire. Now, damn it, now! Alright, that's not good. Thank god that guy wasted his turn, as stupid as that is. Right, we hang on one more turn. No, two more turns. We hang on two more turns. God damn, we need to take care of that turret. It's destroying us. But what are we meant to do here? We have a 4 HP heal. Doom guy's back in the fight. Need that grenade over there on those guys right now. I can't get uh, that girl out of that trouble is the problem. And Kyori hasn't got aid to go on Ramirez. She's in a lot of hurt. What can you do? You need to come to the right, you need to switch to the right, and you need to lay down area suppression on these guys. For a start. And you, Bauer, need to come over and try to kill this guy. While you, Kilroy, probably need to fall back. Well, ideally you would probably push up Kilroy and land a flashbang onto those two at the back. We'd area suppress these two and try to shotgun this one. But can you do that without getting spotted by Overwatch? I think maybe. Might be possible. If you go do, 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 do. You should be able to accomplish everything I just said. If you go to right there. I guess so. God, no time for the alien alarm. Come on. We need to basically send a flashbang over to pin these two down. Get that started for first. For first things. Let's throw that flashbang over. You watching? Got that flash. Okay, now it's up to Glitch to try and kill this guy as best as he can, and we really need him to succeed. What are you gonna do about that, Glitch? Okay, so you're gonna have to move to here and just try to shoot him through heavy cover, I think, Glitch. We don't have a lot of other options at this point. 1%? Excuse me? Wow. That guy's hunkered by the look of it. So we're not hitting him. We're just going to do Overwatch to stop him from getting out. Because we need to move Ocelot over. Who better be able to damn what- Glitch could see him from there. Why can't you see him from there? You need to get area suppression on these targets. I wonder if you could get to there. Hmm. Doomguy kind of needs to heal up, though. You could instead just move up and try to suppress the high ground, uh, crazy amount of crazy amount of buffs right now turret as well. But you haven't really got a position you can do that from, so that that ship's kind of sailed. Now you have to heal yourself, Doomguy. What you do afterwards is your choice, but you have to heal yourself. Come on. Get back in the fight. Down the glitch and Chaleshka. I think the only position you can really move to is here and just assume you will have vision because Bauer did. Yes. Okay. Oh my god, it gets the turret too! Critical success! Area suppression. Oh yeah! Ocelot! Oh man! Now, Doom guys. Let's see, one, two... Doom guy's gotta take a shot. May as well make it onto one of these guys. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, get down. Nice! Shooting! I definitely got that one. Beautiful. They're gonna stay suppressed in that, right? Even though you killed their target. If they don't stay suppressed, I'm gonna scream. Anyway, go ahead and overwatch. Change that guy run around us. Just hold the best you can, everyone. We're so close to getting out of here. Get him! Yes! God bless Exalt. God bless Bauer. Du warst kein Gegner für mich. Got a flashbang on these back too. That's not gonna stop him. Ugh, I'm putting a lot of fire in our position. That was close! That guy's not still suppressed, I don't think, and I don't like that. 
I don't think they're suppressed anymore. The turret's not suppressed! Okay, maybe it is. I don't know. We're alive right now. Gunners are moving in. We need to pull back and get rid of the evac. Does anybody have a flashbang left? Next turn we evac, so we just need to get behind heavy cover and get ready to pull out right now. We've got a flashbang on Ocelot if we need it. We have a flash on friendly, no, but that's alright. We just need to pull the hell back right now, my man. Get into positions where that turret can't see us. Uh, and just handle things that way. So let's pull you over to the side and hopefully we'll get the flashbang over. No problem, boss. I don't think re-flashbanging will stop him from suppressing, but it might. And I need all the mites I can get right now. Or I could flashbang this guy instead. No, screw it. Flashbang this one. You watching? Give him a flash. Yeah, it doesn't re-disorient, doesn't get rid of the suppression again, unfortunately. It, it does make the timer go longer for suppression, uh, for flashbang, I mean, but it doesn't redo it. But that's okay, what I'll do instead is I'll put an aid protocol onto Glitch, and then I'm gonna get Glitch to run, rabbit, run that Overwatch. Meanwhile, Kilroy can then move to that position. Actually, Ramirez needs to move to that position, but Kilroy needs to because he can't get anywhere else. So Glitch can run, rabbit, run, Back to, uh, well, that position's gonna get squad sitted, squad sitted too, um, but you're gonna be a protocol, so I don't know if it matters too much. You've really gotta make sure you run across their line of fire here, there. If you go back through there, or even across here, that runs across their line of sight enough, waypoint. And then you should be able to get yourself in a position like maybe there, uh, where the turret shouldn't have as good eyes on you. Alternatively, I could just not dash, just run backwards. I just need to get eyes. I just need to get them to see me. Yeah, go to here. Do, do. Okay, with aid protocol against the flashbang Overwatch, we should be okay. Hopefully. Yeah, we're okay. We're all G, brother. We're going to have to move up against an overwatch position next turn is the problem. We need to get Kilroy probably into this position. I'm trusting you here. Uh, Ramirez needs to just straight up hide herself really hard. Uh, which is going to be hard to do. Probably put myself there and just hunker with her. It does expose her to more fire, but at least she's hunkered, so she's very unlikely to be shot. And probably do the same with friendly. Push him over. If you say so. We killed the engineer, luckily, otherwise he could have done some nasty crap. That gunner could no, that gun also be suppressed, so he can't he'll be flashbang, so he can't suppress me next turn, so that's fine. We just need to get Ramirez over there and hunker her. Uh, is that everyone? That's the five. Okay. Just need to hunker you. Hunker you. Maintaining position. And hunker you. In position. And that's it, man. Hopefully we're out next turn. That's all I can pray for. As long as we don't get Overwatch to crap. Okay, this guy's moving in. The smart play here, of course, would be Overwatch, but we'll see. These guys are moving around. This is Firebrand. Nice, let's get out of here. It's time to go. Alright, so we're gonna shoot, then we're gonna evac. On these varmints. Because there's no point not shooting if you're gonna evac them out anyway. So take a shoot. Nice one, Ramirez. And you're out. Ready to boogie. Keep taking shots and keep evacing, basically. I wonder if you can evac once you've suppressed. Well, I can't shoot anyway, so screw it. But we'll leave you for a sec. Hold on. Is that going to end my turn? That ends my turn, unfortunately. Wouldn't have hit anyway. But we can take a normal light up. And then get out. So we may as well do that. Although what I really want to see is... 
Can Bauer make it out? No problem. I think he can make it out, no problem, as long as, like... The turret isn't yes, squad site overwatching. Is. Oh god. He's okay. He's okay, folks. He's out. Screw you, Gunner. Right, get out of there, Ocelot. Kill why don't you take a parting shot? What's over there? Because why not? You have to lay down fire as you get onto the dropship. That is key. Because that Avengers, is, is going to let Doomkite come over. I'm trusting you here. And take a walk fire to finish him off. Get him, Doom Boy. Check it before you get too close. Get, get yourself here. out. Nice mission, everyone. Good to see everyone make it out alive. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. That could have been a real doozy with those roof turrets providing some excellent uh, fire support that really transformed that engagement. Uh, but, with a little bit of luck and a lot of our flashbang and suppression, uh, we managed to cover our guys enough to get out, though we took some heavy wounds. But you can see how you really got to preserve your specialist for those missions. That mission about a specialist? Impossible. That mission was almost, well, not impossible, but that mission was hard enough with a specialist cutting out, like, three to four blue moves to get to the objective, you know? Without that specialist, and without the specialist hacking the turrets at key points as well, it's a very, very difficult situation. Of course, we probably could have used the Sapper Grenadier uh, if I'd kept the mobility on him to move up and grenade those turrets, blow up the floor between it, underneath them, and uh, just rubble them in that sense, if that still works. Uh, but all around, we, we probably could have saved a couple of grenades for that later engagement. And I think a key thing, obviously, is we called in an evac way too late. As soon as we broke concealment, we should have called in that evac, and we could have got out way, way earlier. But all in all, lessons learned for the future, and we made it out alive. Alright. Ramirez wants to be a sharpshooter. She says, keep me far away from the front line forever after that horrible experience. Ocelot up to Lance Corporal, great for you. Uh, friendly, up to Corporal, excellent. Corey up to Lance Corporal. Only person who didn't promote was uh, Glitch, who just got the promotion, I guess. Got a stock and expanded mag. We're getting thin on manpower. Commander. And we are getting under strength. Okay, New orders, well. Commander. That afforded us a lead, apparently, whatever that will give us. If it's like the point of interest leads, maybe? I don't know what that gives us, really. Is it something you research? Probably. Hello, Commander. Work is well underway. No? But it will be some time yet before my research is complete. We did- we got a lead from that, didn't we? Wasn't that what we got? Commander? Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe it's- I don't know how it works, but... We'll see. Alright, so we're still continuing on. We've got the intel now to boost that kilo operation, which is good. Um, let's go over and finish the black market, actually, real quick. Avenger plotting new course. Shoop de boop. Nice, got that debris cleared, got some supplies. Which is going to allow us to uh, keep clearing debris for one. But for two, get that officer training station. Gorilla Tactics School facility upgraded. Now we need to pick a leader, which is its own question. I think it's easy to imagine a specialist uh, contributing to things from behind the lines. Uh, even though I did go like that Overwatch route on Kilroy, of course, we can always just uh, retrain him in the AW, in the Gorilla Training School, I believe. I, I, in the AWC, sorry. So uh, probably the specialist is the most apt to be a leader. Uh, along with probably the Grenadier. Very important leaders in Long War 2 have uh, Long War 1.0's command ability to them, which is what's so great about them. Where uh, you can end your turn to grant a bonus action to any vis visible member of the squad. The number of charges depends on the officer's rank. Um, now what other benefits do we get here? Let's have a look. Kind of use, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Uh, we can pick either Oscar Mike, spend an action to give all allies within command range plus 3 mobility for the remainder of the turn. Usable once per mission. 
Okay. I will probably would never take that. That's a very small benefit. Or focus fire. Spend an action to pinpoint a target and grant your squad cumulative aim bonuses and one armor piercing on attacks against that target for the rest of the turn. Each successive direct weapon attack against the target in the same turn grants an additional plus four aim bonus and there is a three turn cooldown. This is usable once permission, by the way. This terrible thing. So I think I gotta be all about that focus fire. 100%. So we're gonna start training Kyori up to be an NCO there. I'm sure he'd be so proud. And if we get a Staff Sergeant of 35 Supplies, we can train more uh, leaders at once. But for now, we're kind of stuck with what we're stuck with. Let's get back out there. Got an urgent communication uh -huh. coming in for you now, Commander. 56. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. An unknown cause has taken 31 dollar dues away from us, but we have apparently earned 56. So is that 31 off my 56, or is that 56 could have been plus 31? No, it's taken off my 56. Well, that's just about worthless. So let's see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stop bothering with supply. Because screw that. And this month I'm going to go all intel. Hey, you ranked up, Sydney Powell. Nice job. You've got close and personal. And aim. Great job. Also, despite having recruiters on, I haven't seen anybody join this haven. So you know what? I'm just going to go full intel. And try to get longer timers on missions. Because that would make these missions a hell of a lot easier. Uh, longer infiltration timers. I'm just going to go full intel this month. I'm going to see how they like that. See how they like that shit. I keep forgetting I can swear. It's swear. It's been a while since I've sweared, sworn. Sweared. Uh, black market up. Market is open. You want my alien alloys, Illyrium core, and expanded mag stores, huh? You can have my AP rounds for the five dollars I spent for them. Or I can sell these corpses. That could be quite nice. Me thinks. Sell some of those. Um, what are you going to give me for my alloys? You're going to give me... F you're going to give me a decent amount of money. Alright. No, that's pretty crap, actually, let's be honest. You're going to give me 40 for an Illyrium core, though. Bazinga. Uh, I need that expanded mag desperately for my infantry, so you can, you're not getting that. Uh, the stocks... We'll see. What can you buy? They've changed it from being Intel to Supplies, which is a much less cheesy version of Black Market, which I support. We could buy Engineers and Scientists for Supplies if we had enough. I wish we could get that Engineer. That would be incredibly helpful. What else is there? Bunch of PCSs. Juice Enemy Dodge. Autoloader, Hair Trigger. PCS Conditioning. Stock and Illyrium Crystals. And I can get a Lance Corporal Shinobi, which... Holy crap! For 30 supplies? That's a bargain. That's a hell of a bargain. That's that's very affordable. I really appreciate how affordable that is. I'm going to afford that right now. Yes, thank you. I will spend... <laughs> you will spend 30 supplies! Are you sure? Yes, I will buy him. That is quite a bargain. Okay. I guess we should go and get that supply drop. Avenger plotting new course. Shooty boop. Great job. Avenger plotting I feel like you're course. lying to me that I can recruit new staff. Oh wait, no, no, I just did that. Market I thought you meant at the HQ. Um, so let's just go and help out with the intel, I think, for now. Setting course for sector 10. And let's just try and Eastern go full United intel and States. get some like do more doable missions this month. Because if we could have done the rest of those missions, we could have got more resources. Okay, she is done training to be a shinobi. Great for you. That gives us three shinobis, I believe. Because we've also got the guy we just picked up, Arthur Hicks. Welcome, welcome little Hicks buddy. Little Hicks champ buddy friend there. Welcome, welcome. Goody, uh, goody to meet ya. Straight up to Lance Corporal. Nice, nice, nice. We'll have a look at that when we need it. Little resistance guy in his little resistance outfit. Oh no, wait, hang on, go back. I have to do the gorilla training. Yeah, because Patrick's done as well. Good for you two. So what do we need now? Uh, we could use another assault. We could probably use a third grenadier. But we could definitely use another gunner. So another gunner and another assault would be really good. Other than that, 
I think we've got two of everything. Did I not get another specialist? I didn't. So I need another specialist and probably another assault, I think. Let's go for uh, one of each. There I am doing my training. So for specialist, well, you know who it is. You know who it is. Bone Daddy's back in the specialist game. And then for Assault, Bradford feels like a no-brainer. Or Kelly. Mm. No, sorry. There's Drake, who of course should be Assault. Still got our people we can call on there too when we need them. Alright, let's get back out there. Try and find some uh, moderately timed missions. We're about to have this uh, Extract VIP mission pop and we'll boost on that. 69% infiltrated, just how I like it. Uh, so we got Jenny Hawkins and an intel package. Let's boost that infiltration up to 106%. That's what I like to see. Now we've got an extremely light amount of enemy activity. And I tell you what, if what we've been fighting so far is extremely light, I do not want to see moderate. So I'm glad to be able to boost. So with the judicious use of boosts, I think we're hopefully doing all right here. Let's launch this mission, Operation Patient Him. Let's try and bust Jamie Hawkins out of the advent cell uh, and get out of there as quick as we can. We received an emergency request from the spokesman asking for our help in freeing a VIP sympathetic to the resistance cause. Advent forces are holding the captive somewhere in this area, and we're expecting a steady contingent of reinforcements to back them up. Lock down the area, eliminate all hostile resistance, and secure the VIP. Alright, well these missions are always quite challenging, at least in my opinion, so we'll see how we go in Operation Patient Him, trying to rescue this VIP from Advent Gulag. Until next time, have a good one.